All right, so I'm looking at uh, balance of powers. Uh, just going to do a quick kind of thoughts here um, on the game. I've got the setup, I think, all done. Um, wanted to make some quick comments about the map and the components, colors, that sort of thing. There was, um, I don't know, on Consum, BGG, there was some, you know, kind of griping about the colors. I think the... The, uh, let me see if I can get it. So the Austrians are, you know, pink or whatever. Um, and the map's got kind of this pastel look to it. And for me, I, I, I really like the map. Uh, I like the counters as well. I like the, I like the colors. I like the, um, the use of the icons on them. Um, so yeah, I, uh, anyway. For me, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe that's just me looking back on the 80s, right, with your pastels. Um, one thing, though, and I'm going to pull back here a little bit. I've got a really big gaming table, and I cannot fit this map on here <laughs> um, as it should be. Okay, so there's, uh, there's Turkey, and then over here is the rest of Turkey, which is supposed to fit over here. You know, I can't get it on here unless I put an extension over here and, and do all kinds of things. Um, you know, I kind of wish they did a better job, or, or not a better job, but use kind of pull the the uh, <laughs> the geography over there, kind of like Le Grand Gear, which can you know, I can fit Le Grand Gear's map on here easily, as well as the charts, um, because I have the space. So I mean that's kind of a that's kind of a hassle, but I, I you know not really that big of a deal because you know but it, it doesn't look as good or as cool as it should if it's all together. Um, over here we have the Africa map, uh, small map, um, and then over here uh, we have the rest of the world map. Um, so those are kind of the components. Like I said, I really like the components. Um, I like the counters. I like the colors. They appeal to me. Don't know why, but they do. Uh, going over here, here's the uh, the naval units and the rest of the world map. You can see there's um, there's some German cruisers out there and some uh, you know British and French cruisers looking to kind of track them down. Um, so uh, what else do I want to say before I, I start the pay playthrough? Um, well, this game I'm hoping will be my World War One game. Um, I really like World War One as a topic. I like the I, I like this you know the, the whole war on a strategic level. This is core level, uh, which is, I think is a good level for this uh, conflict. Um, the things that appeal to me about it um, that I haven't seen in other games or that other games don't tie all together. One is the uh, economic track here. Um, so you've got your money that you get, um, and you use that to, uh, to attack, to, you know, buy forces, buy infrastructure, which I, I'll, I'll show at some point, I'm sure. Um, and that's affected also by the other thing I like about it, which is your, uh, national will. So each country has a number of they hit, they get into a political crisis. And that can cause them to collapse. Uh, it has negative effects in general on it. So I like that idea. Um, I also and like that there's some detail to it. Um, I also like that there is this. There's a naval, actual real naval system where you have squadrons of ships and fleets, submarines, mines, you know, etc. Uh, a lot of World War One games seem to just leave that out or abstract it to where it's really nothing. Um, the other thing I like about it, it's the whole world. Now granted, there's Europe, there's Africa, there's the rest of the world. So, um, you know, but it does scale and, and that makes sense. I mean, the conflict was, you know, the, you know, mostly uh, most of the body count and what was going on was being fought in Europe. So, I mean, that makes sense. I like though that they they include the game includes all of the world, not just uh, Europe. Um, I like that there's a diplomacy system. 
um, so you can sway miners uh, to your side. So Italy might join the Central Powers. Um, they very well could. Um, and that's very intriguing. Uh, what else do I like about it there that, that it has that other games don't? Um, well, well, other games have all these things, or have some of them. I like that this has all the things I'm looking for. We'll see if the level of detail or, or in the gameplay, um, you know, makes me really, you know, like this game or rate it highly. It may not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right. Let's see you. Um, I'll come back after probably I play the opening turn. Uh, since I haven't played before, um, you know, my setup's probably crap. Um, but um, I'll go ahead and come back and do that. Uh, a couple of notes, though, Yeah, I guess I should add before I go, um, before I end this one. One is I'm playing the historical setup, which is the Schlieffen plan. Uh, Germans are coming through Belgium. Um there is an option in the game uh, to use like a pre-turn, a crisis of July. I have studied that thing, and man, I just, yeah. I mean, to me, the central powers would can really just game that to victory, in my my opinion. Keep, in essence, keep Britain out of the war, which will keep the United States out of the war, and they can, you know. I think win real, you know, or, or should be able to win relatively easily, even easily if the game's balanced. I don't know. Maybe the game's not balanced. I'll, I won't be able to tell with a solo play whether it's balanced anyway. I mean, you know, that's not something that's, that's possible, um, especially on a first play. Um, so I'm, I'm not using that. The other rule I may or may not use um, is the U.S. entry rule, which is based on uh, the central powers determine whether the U.S. enters the game or not. They have these, um, where are they? Oh, here they are. So they have these un unrestricted submarine warfare counters. When they use five of them, uh, the U.S. enters. But they can use four and never use the fifth. And then if they do that, the U.S. won't enter. So it's all in, in the central powers' hands. I'm not sure I like that. I'm going to wait and see what the effect is of using that fifth counter. Um, I mean, just, just out of my guess, I mean, you know, the, the economic benefit the United States can provide to one other country or whatever with points should offset that. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's a tough call for Germany to they may actually want to use it and let the U.S. come in. So if if they won't, then it's a no-brainer. I'm just going to have the U.S. come in. So, all right.